morning children uh, today is sunday and we are happy to bring the word of god to you a while at home uh, last week we had good time we had a good lesson and before we start the lesson of today uh, shall we pray together bow down your head close your eyes and put hands together our dear heavenly father in jesus name we come before you this morning you are so good you are so loving you are so wonderful you are so great we thank you for giving us life at today and even today is the day of worship and we pray that we may worship you in the truth and in the spirit we are praying dear father uh, for the children back at home that you may bless them that you may be with them that you may guide them father we pray for those who are sick that you may heal them we pray for those who are depressed lord that you are going to give them peace we also pray for the parents for the guardians lord as you bless the children that you are going to bless them too for your word which is which we are going to hear today we pray god that you may teach us so that we may not forget and that we may walk in your ways in jesus name we pray amen uh, boys and girls uh, last week we learned a very good lesson about creation and uh, today is also continuation of the of the lesson uh, we learned day one that god made light uh, to divide day uh, to divide day and night and we learned that it is very important because uh, at night we can sleep we can rest and during the day uh, we can do our work and so the memory verse which we learned is the same memory verse we have today uh, in genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and i know you have been memorizing this verse to remind us how god uh, is great and how god is wonderful so we are going to sing this song uh, which says uh, our god is so big is so strong is so might there is nothing my god cannot do my god is so big so strong and so mighty there is nothing my god cannot do my god is so big so strong and so mighty there is nothing my god cannot do the mountains are his the rivers are his the stars are his and work too my god is so big so strong and so mighty there is nothing my god cannot do so um boys and girls we have learned that our god is so big he's so strong there is nothing he cannot do last week we learned that he made uh, he made light he said let there be light and there was light and we saw that light is very important because during the day uh, we can we can play we can go to school we can go uh, we can go to our places we can go to the market but during the night we say we say that well, it is our time to rest it is our time to sleep and so uh, on the second day, God, um, God made the, the sky. And I am going to read uh, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 6. And God said, let there be an expanse between the waters to separate uh, water from water. So God made the expanse and separated the water under the expanse from the water above it and it was so 
God, say, uh, God called the expanse sky, and there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. Uh, the memory verse which we learned uh, last week is also our today's memory verse. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Uh, we saw that uh, God started his creation and he was not making things the way we make. He was just saying, let them be and there was. So the first day he said, let them be light and there was light. The second day he said, let there be sky and there was and there was sky. And the sky was to divide the waters above and the waters below. Uh, sometimes you see water coming from, uh, from above. We call that rain. And also when we are here, like now, I know in your house you have water. So the, water, uh, the sky was to divide the waters above so that it may come when God commands it to come. And we call that, we call that rain. And here on earth we have like rivers we will come and see um, at the third day. Uh, we have sea, we have rivers whereby we can go and fetch some water, or the water which comes to our houses where it comes from. And so when we look at the sky, this tells us that our God is so big, he is so powerful. Imagine if it was raining since we were born up to today, where will we build our houses? Will you be able to go to school? Will you be able to go out to play? No. But God had a good plan for you and me so that we may have a beautiful world. And you see, our God is so big. He made the, he made the sky. So this is telling us that there is nothing our God cannot do. Maybe uh, today you have someone who is sick at home. Uh, maybe your mom is sick or your dad is sick or there are some people who have lost work at home. Uh, you need to, to pray. And because there is nothing our God cannot do, God will provide for us, will provide for you. Maybe uh, you are like you are given homework online and sometimes you do the work and you find that it is too hard and you cannot understand some subjects. What will you do? You pray. Because um, Jesus tells us that if we ask anything in his name, our Father in heaven will, will give us. Uh, it was announced that there will be no school until January. And I know some of you were depressed. You said, ah, this government, why is it that they are not allowing us to, school, to go to school? Know that God has good plans even when things do not go the way we, we want. So God has good plans. And therefore, you need to use your time well. You need, uh, you need to... Uh, to Pray and to read the Bible every day so that he may, he may guide you. So we are going to sing this song which, which, remi which is reminding us that we have a friend. Jesus is our friend. If Jesus is your savior, you have a friend who cares for you. You have a friend who loves you. He loves you. Sometimes people you are living with may not be loving, but Jesus continues to love you. I have a friend who really loves me. I have a friend who really loves me. He loves me. He loves me. I have a friend who really loves me, and Jesus is his name. He died upon the cross to save me, to save me, to save me. He died upon the cross to save me, then rose up from the grave. I'll live each day to serve my Savior, my Savior, my Savior. I'll live each day to serve my Savior, 
for he is my Lord and King. And this is a Spanish language. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, me ama, me ama. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, su nombre es Jesus. A song, uh, we have a friend who really lo loves us. As I finish, boys and girls, maybe... Uh, Jesus is not your savior and you have been having so many problems Jesus is inviting you to invite him to his heart into your heart if you say that I am a sinner and you believe Jesus died and rose again for you and then you ask him to come into your heart he is going to save you today the Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 12, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. If that is your prayer, to have Jesus as your Savior, say these words, Lord Jesus, I admit I am a sinner. I believe that you died and rose again for me and ask you to come into my heart and save me from the punishment of my sins. Make me a child of God. Amen. If you have said that prayer, uh, you need to read the Bible. You can start uh, reading the book of Psalms uh, so that you may know how you need to live as a new Christian. So may God bless us and may God be with you. May God encourage you. I know it is discouraging you. See, being at home, not going to school, not interacting with your friends. But as we have planned, God has good plans for you. Let us walk with him and he will answer our prayers. Let's pray. Our dear loving Father, we thank you. Uh, for making the sky which is so important because it keeps the rain to come uh, at your own time we pray dear father thanking you so much because we have learned that you are so big you are so strong and there is nothing you cannot do the boys are at the boys and girls are at home and they, uh, they we had plans to go to school in September. And now they cannot go to school until January. We are praying in Jesus' name that you are going to keep them safe. We pray, dear Father, that they may um, come back to your word and read your word and know that you have good plans for them. Some may not understand. But we pray, dear Father, that you are going to help them to understand and to keep them well, not to interact with the people who will corrupt their good morals. We are praying in Jesus' name that you are going to be with them, they are going to be obedient to their parents, they are going to be obedient to, uh, to their brothers, to their sisters, and even when they are given homework online, they will be able to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.